Hi guys and welcome to Texas Skiff. I just wanted to give you one quick tip about your tongue jack on your skiff trailers. Probably most of the problems you're going to have with your boat as you own it over years is I'd say a huge percentage of them come from the trailer. And this is a brand new trailer that came with this boat only two years ago and already I had to do some work on this jack which was starting to rust and oxidize and everything else and also it had a basic problem with the height of this, this tube right here. The trailer itself is low slung and it's so low slung that the stock uh, tongue jack would not work. It would not swing down or go low enough. This tube was too low so it wouldn't go low enough to actually fit on the on the trailer. I'd have to lift and drop the, the trailer on the on the trailer ball. So that I got a little tired of that. And uh, what I did, first off, before I did anything, I took it off, took it to the machine shop, and had this bracket right here moved down the tube. You know, these trailers are not exactly um, built for uh, skiffs, so it's, it's kind of an adaptation. And this is basically a Florida style low slung trailer for this boat that's been kind of adapted and what happened is that didn't work so and, and from the time I had it, it never worked right uh, if you have and we'll do this in a later episode if you have your trailer and and uh, your car properly aligned and properly leveled for the right kind of towing which we'll show you about that in a future episode of Texas Skiff um, so anyway took it off it's already oxidizing. What, what the problem is these days is the things we buy, like a stock uh, tongue jack like this to put on, comes from China. Well, Chinese stuff has terrible plating on it. If it's plated in China, they'll pollute the air and the sea and everything else with this plating, but the plating is awful and begins to actually degrade. Like even the, the trailer ball up there is starting to degrade. Uh, I'll have to work on that later. Um, because of the poor plating. So what I did, took it off, had it fixed in the machine shop, dropped that tube down, up, basically lifted that tube up in the, in the bracket so now I have full articulation which means it stops right here and everything works out just fine with that. I don't have to start, I don't have to keep lifting the, the tongue anymore. Then I brought it home, brushed it off with a, uh, with a uh, four inch brush on a, on a grinder and did not take the plating off but went ahead and as much as I don't like the looks of this I you know I'm more about function painted the whole thing with a cold um, a cold oxidizing um, galvanizer paint by Rust-Oleum the cold galvanized paint problem I have with the paint right now is it's not very glossy and that means that water will stand on it and we'll see we're gonna see we're gonna check back on this whole idea in probably six months or a year you know if you're on salt your problems are exponentially worse for me um, I go to salt uh, probably this boat's been on salt three or four weeks out of the last two years um, but what's happening is our lakes are getting saltier here and if you go to Texoma it's, it's pretty high salinity so you will see some of these problems with your boat and your trailers if you fished North Texas lakes so anyway Took it apart, went ahead and spray painted it with that um, cold galvanizing Rust-Oleum. Just covered the whole thing with it. And then came back and when I put my, my new pieces on here, these are stainless steel because even, even the nuts and bolts were starting to oxidize and rust. So I just did away with those, put stainless on here and here. And this is not, this may bear about 50 or 60 pounds of load. That's one, one other thing about this trailer is it, it's not very tongue heavy. It's actually a little too light on the tongue, but um, it's not that big a deal when the, it's unloaded and and it's just sitting on the uh, actual jack. So that's how I did that. Put it all back together and now we'll check back in a few months and see how it works out. But the great thing is now I don't have to sit here and try to lift this and put it on the ball. <laughs> I'm getting a little tired of that. Thanks for watching. I hope this tip makes sense. If you have any questions about this, let me know. Of course, uh, everybody's trailers are different. But not only did I switch out, um, take this off and, and get it all cleaned up, but since it's going to be functioning, I switched sides. So now this cranks on this side and that cranks on that side and they don't interfere with each other because it went on the same side. I never used it before. That's why it didn't matter. I was just lifting and dropping. 
But now that I'm going to get to use that, I'll put it on this side so it stands clear and that one on that side is clear too. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you got any ideas for more videos or have questions about skiffs, uh, I don't know all the answers, but I'm, I'm finding out as I go. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.